Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the photos app Probably one of the most used stock apps of iOS But do you know how to actually use it and are you taking advantage of all the cool and very useful features that the photos app on iOS has to offer well let's get into the app and i will show you guys some really cool features that you're probably not using on your iphone's photo app now first of all we're going to an album so you can see right here we have a few different albums and we'll see each of them will have their own like first picture which is basically the thumbnail for that album well did you know that you can change that to any picture that's on that album so if i go here on the twitter album i have a bunch of pictures i can choose this one to be the main the thumbnail picture of this album and the way to do that just 3d touch on the photo and tap right here make key photo and when we go back you can see that the key photo the album art the cover whatever you want to call for that album has actually been changed now here's probably one of the coolest features of ios that probably a lot of users don't know how to use now this will work on every app on ios but it has a trick up its sleeve for the photos app so you know that whenever you're on like somewhere that you need to scroll like this you can simply tap the status bar right there and it will take you right to the top but on the photos app when you're at the top you can also quickly go to the bottom simply by tapping right there so you can see i can tap on the status bar to go to the top and then tap on album to go right back to the end whenever you take a bunch of pictures on your iphone and they're a live picture did you know that you can actually tap on one of them and when you start actually watching that picture just don't release your finger and you can watch the entire pictures at the same time so if i tap and hold right here you can see it's done with this picture but it will continue to the other ones as well and now you're just watching them just like they would be actually a video now when talking about live pictures here's another very cool trick tap the select button right there select any amount of live pictures that you have taken with your iphone 3d touch right there and now you can save them as a video so of course these need to be live pictures that have been taken one after another you can see right there we had six live pictures that we selected and now we have turned them into a video so there we have a five second video which actually has been taken directly from those live pictures now here's one of the most useful features of the photos app that i'm pretty sure most of you guys don't use when you search for something you can search based on captions so you can see right here i have searched it shows the pictures text found in pictures but it also shows captions now this is as you can see right here is a wallpaper it doesn't have any text on it but it does have the caption now to add captions to your pictures which then will allow you to easily find them on the photos app it's very simple on a picture all you have to do is just swipe up just like this you can see where it says test right there that's the caption field so if i just go ahead and delete that it will say add a caption just add a caption there anything you need or anything that describes that picture add it there and then of course you can be able to use that caption to quickly find that picture now when you're on an album of pictures on ios you will see that all the pictures are basically a square here all the all of them have the same size but you can change that and you can actually view the pictures on their original format simply by tapping right there on the three dots all you have to do here where it says aspect ratio tap right there and now you can see we have different shapes of pictures right here they will show all on their original size instead of just showing the similar the all uniform like squ square size right there so this is really really cool you can actually view the shape of the pictures directly from here one really cool thing that Apple has done with the Photos app on iOS 17 is that they now allow you to actually copy and paste edits. You copy the edits from a photo, you can paste it to another photo without needing to re-edit the other photo at all. But what you can do is actually also paste the edits that you have done on a picture to a video or from a video to a picture. So you can see I have edited this picture right here. I can 3D touch on it 
tap on copy edits. There we have the video, 3D touch on it, paste the edit, and right there it says paste complete. And now it has pasted those edits from this picture to this video in a couple of seconds. Now one really cool thing you can do with the Photos app, and this is a trick you can do, is that you can convert your photos into a PDF file and save them to the Files app. Very easy. You can choose one photo or maybe even select multiple photos, tap the share button right there, and all you have to do here from the share sheet is tap the print button. Once you have done that, you will see your PDF pages right here. Tap the share button, and you can just go ahead, you can see right here it says PDF document, save it to the files app. As easy as that, you can go ahead and turn any amount of pictures that you select into a PDF file and save it into the files app. With iOS 17, you can also sort your pictures, and that will be very easy. Again, on any album, you can just go ahead and tap right there on the 3D dot, and then from here, you will be able to sort. Just tap on sort, you will have here a few like a different like presets from oldest to newer, or if you have like manually rearranged any of your photos, it will show custom order. But if we just tap right there, you can go ahead and rearrange them as easy as this. You can also filter your photos on an album. So again, tap the 3D dots, you will have the filter right here. You can also tap on show all filters. You will have all the filters here. So you can filter the photos, the videos, the edit ones, or the favorited ones. And then of course it will show you only those. So if I go with edited, you can see it only shows the pictures that I have edited. That's the icon right there that indicates indicates that we have a filter enabled. If I just tap on that right there to disable it, you can see now it will show all the photos or all items, and there we go. Now, if you have edited a picture on iOS on the Photos app, you can actually export an unmodified version of that picture. So here we have this edited picture. We can tap right there, and it says export unmodified original, when you do this, you can save this to your files app and it will actually save the exact picture as it was taken. It will remove all the edits, anything that you have done from the picture and will save just the original picture as it has been taken from your iPhone's camera. And last but not least, this is really cool and very cool that you can do this. You can actually manually rearrange your photo. So if I just want to add this to the top here, I can just go ahead and rearrange it. It's very easy, just like you would do with icons on the home screen. You will be able to also rearrange your pictures. Just drag them. You can even select multiple of them and just go ahead and place them any, any place you want. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.